Hello, I welcome you all to cha this channel again. So in this particular video, we will see previous appeared CSIR net questions on lanthanides. So in fact, uh, uh, this is part one. So in which uh, questions related to lanthanide contraction mainly and uh, oxidation state and uh, other general aspects of lanthanides. Only those such questions have been considered here. So in connection with this uh, basic aspects, electronic configuration of lanthanides, lanthanide contraction and all, I have made two videos. So if you have not watched those videos, please watch those videos so that uh, you will get introduced into the topic. So then you can come to this video. So here you can find questions, previous appeared questions. So my sincere request you is to uh, get the question first, pause the video, try to solve the question by yourself and then you can just continue with the video to find out the correct answer. So some eight questions I am considering here. Let us begin with the first question. So this is uh, first time considering two mass questions. So this is from June to uh, June 2012 examination. The least basic among the following is four species they have given. Uh, uh, please excuse me for this mistake. This is in fact aluminium hydroxide. It should have been Al. Please so let me make the correction. So this is Al. Fine. So least basic among this it should be uh, found out, right? So now, so in this case, if I write this in their uh, decreasing order of size. Because of lanthanide contraction, lanthanum to cerium or even if we just continue in this series up, series, up to lutetium 3 plus size it decreases in this direction. Aluminium, it is a main block, main group element. So definitely compared to the size of uh, lutetium, size of aluminium, it will be very small. So aluminium 3 plus will be having minimum size and that appears here. So now in this direction size decreases and uh, as size decreases, basicity it decreases because covalent character increases this can be even uh, found out or this can be even thought of in the form of uh, uh, from uh, uh, Fajan's rules point of view cationic charge density it increases covalent character it increases and because of it basicity increases with decrease in size so aluminium it has least size and it should be least basic so that for aluminium hydroxide it should be more covalent and least basic answer for this question it should be aluminium hydroxide which is option a Next question, which of the following shows highest solubility in hot concentrated aqueous sodium, sodium hydroxide? Again this question it is related to lanthanoid contraction itself. So four different hydroxides they have given and which is uh, highest soluble that they have asked, highest soluble in aqueous NaOH. So the species which is most soluble in aqueous NaOH, it should be least basic or in other words, it should be most acidic. Most acidic species, we can easily say that it will be more soluble in aqueous NaOH because aqueous NaOH is basic. So from that perspective, if you analyze the situation, that's what most acidic is most soluble. So from this direction, lanthanum hydroxide, lanthanum uh, the series, it continues like this, lanthanum, cerium, prasodymium, then comes neodymium, uh, neodymium, then uh, so samarium after some time and uh, ultimately lutetium. So in this direction size it decreases because of lanthanide contraction because of which basicity decreases or even it can be said that acidity increases and this species lutetium hydroxide it can be considered to be least basic or most acidic it should be high, highly soluble in aqueous NaOH. So answer is option D lutetium hydroxide for this question. Okay next so this is from uh, D15, December 2015, this question has appeared for two marks. The metallic radii are abnormally high for which of the following pairs? So if we know something about lanthanoid contraction, lanthanoid contraction depicts very steady decrease in the size of uh, uh, atoms of lanthanoids, lanthanoids, 4F series elements. But two elements, they have little more size than expected, which are those that they have asked. So in fact, if you know the answer straight away, it is europium and yttribium because these are exceptions but how it can be looked at so there is one more perspective which i could find it in atkins to explain the um, um, different size of these two in solid state what we can expect is uh, of course all different elements uh, lanthanoids they they will not be existing as neutral atoms in solid state so in solids in solid state we can assume them to exist in different oxidation states europium and yttribium if you consider these two species Right? So you can expect them to exist in this format, Euro, europium 2 plus ion plus 2 electrons, yttribium 2 plus 
plus 2 electrons. So you can expect them to be in this form because europium 2 plus it is 4f7 configuration which is stable. Yttribium 2 plus as we know it is 4f14 configuration it is stable right whereas other lanthanides most of them of course they can exist in solid state in variety of oxidation states but uh, most of them they can exist in this ln3 plus plus 3, 3 electron state. Now if you consider this is in 3 plus so definitely higher cationic charge or so higher the oxidation state it should have smaller size right so all these 3 plus they will have one trend whereas this being in this uh, um, this these two species having preference over this 2 plus oxidation state so these uh, they are expected to show little more size so this explanation it is from atkins right and the other explanation for this is because of uh, more inter electron repulsion in case of 4f7 and 4f14 when that explanation it is available in huhi for uh, uh, the higher size of uh, europium and yttribium. So straight away answer it should be europium and yttribium that is option A. Okay, let us come to four mass questions. So first question, this is straight away question. Uh, it is on consequence of lanthanoid contraction. So two statements they have given, uh, size of zirconium and hafnium uh, they are similar and uh, reason for this is lanthanoid contraction. These two statements they have given and then just they have asked. Uh, whether this this like assertion reasoning type this assertion this is reasoning right so four options if you look at so definitely you can find that both the statements they are correct no doubt about this in this case uh, both the options they are correct so therefore either you can go with this one and two are correct or one and two are correct so here only one is correct and here one and two both are incorrect they have given so a or b since both the statements they are correct a and a or b either A or B it should be the answer. Further this is the reason size of uh, hafnium it is affected by lanthanoid contraction. When we move from zirconium to hafnium uh, majority of electrons they go 4f, 4f electrons uh, they provide improper shielding because of which expected increase in size is not observed in hafnium and that is how zirconium and hafnium they will have identical size and therefore uh, uh, this statement is also correct and reason for this is uh, lanthanide contraction suffered by HF hafnium that is also correct so answer it should be straight away option a 1 and 2 are correct 2 is the correct explanation of 1 next question the electronic configuration of gadolinium so how to remember electronic configuration in 3 plus oxidation state and from 3 plus how to write the electronic configuration of uh, ground state of gadolinium so this part has been discussed in a video named uh, trick to remember lanthanoid electronic configuration if you have not watched the video please watch that uh, so you find that interesting trick to remember all lanthanoids and then their oxidation state electronic configurations and all okay coming back to this question so if you look at so what they have given is gadolinium ground state electronic configuration they have given readily they have given right. So straight away they have asked for gadolinium, gadolinium 2 plus. So uh, this question it was asked for uh, 4 mass if you knew some basic aspects this question it was very easy right. So just the thing that you should know is uh, whatever may be the order of filling of electrons while filling electrons energy wise we may fill 6s first then we may go to uh, say 4f then we may come to 5d whatever. All right, but while removing electrons usually the trend that is followed is outer electrons they are removed first. So here also same thing outer electrons 2 plus means 2s electrons they should be removed first and if we remove these two electrons what we get is the electronic configuration it will change from 4f7 5d16 s22 4f7 5d16 s0 right. So if you look at look into the options so here uh, they have removed electron from F sub shell when electrons are available in fifth shell and sixth shell you cannot directly uh, remove inner for F electrons. So therefore uh, this cannot be the answer option A it cannot be the answer. Then next so here what they have done is they have again uh, removed one electron from 4F sub shell. So that is also not the possibility in option C if you look at again it has been made to be 4F6 one electron from uh, uh, say 6s and the other electron from 4f they have removed that is also not the possibility you are left with only option option d so in option d if you look at so it's 4f7 5d1 6s0 6s0 it is not written so therefore both the electrons have gone from 6s shell and therefore this should be the answer so answer of this question it should be option d fine let us go to the next question okay next question it is uh, the pair of lanthanides with highest third ionization energy. So now for this easily if you know the electronic configuration of lanthanides from that part this can be worked out right. So if I directly go to the answer 
see europium it has possible oxidation state of 2 plus when europium it goes to 2 plus oxidation state it will have stable half feed 4f7 configuration which will be having maximum exchange energy similarly yttrium 2 plus yttrium 2 plus it will have 4f14 configuration which will be fully filled which will have maximum exchange energy and once this europium 2 plus or yttrium 2 plus is reached further removal of electron from this stable configuration it goes difficult in both the cases therefore third ionization enthalpy it should be high for these two species and therefore the answer it should be europium and yttrium option b for practice sake definitely you can write electronic configuration of all other species all other three options and you can just convince yourself that this kind of uh, um, stabilization due to half filled or fully filled it is not available in any other case whereas both the elements they will have some energy stable uh, some stabilization associated with 2 plus oxidation state therefore the third ionization energy it will be very high for these two species next question seventh question the lanthanide 3 ion having the highest partition coefficient between tri n butyl phosphate and concentrated hno3 so this is uh, uh, in connection with the separation of lanthanoids by uh, distillation uh, sorry uh, uh, it is uh, um, uh, partition partition using uh, um, uh, solvent extraction say hn concentrated hno3 and tri n butyl phosphate uh, this mixture has been taken and the mixture of lanthanoids it is put into this and uh, using this mixture using solvent extraction lanthanides they have been separated so little difficult right see how this can be tackled is so this is not from any book so uh, so this is just my explanation um, i hope it is correct but uh, if you find any other explanation for this fact in any other book please mention it in comment so that even i will get to know see now what they have asked is highest partition coefficient so highest partition coefficient between tri n butyl phosphate so this uh, tri n butyl phosphate uh, it is simple if at all i want to draw it so it is phosphorus and double bond o phosphoric acid say then 3 oh uh, sorry 3 o it is uh, uh, oh if i write it will be phosphoric acid so this h it has been replaced with n butyl group 1 2 3 okay 4 like this right say 1 2 3 4 so please excuse me for this uh, first handwriting so i'm just using mouse to draw this so therefore uh, handwriting is not that good so 1 2 3 4 okay fine so n butyl group even if i miss the number of carbon atoms you just keep in mind that it is uh, uh, n butyl group so this is your uh, uh, what is that tri n butyl phosphate mainly this is uh, uh, so because of this uh, hydrophobic chains this is organic compound fine now right so now the species which has got more solubility in this than in case of hno3 it will have more uh, partition coefficient between tri n butyl phosphate and hno3 right so therefore the species which is more soluble in this and less soluble in hno3 that should be searched so what they have just mentioned is they have mentioned that uh, lanthanum 3 ions but if you consider in solution definitely lanthanum 3 ions if it is aqueous solution you can expect them to exist as hydroxides now if you consider the basicity of their hydroxide so lanthanum let us say this is also in hydroxide form all these are in hydroxide form so lutetium 3 hydroxide it it's a basicity it will be less if you go in this direction you know its basicity it will be less right or in other words acidic this will be more acidic or even covalent character of this hydroxide it increases in this direction so this one being more covalent this should be soluble more soluble in covalent compounds or uh, less polar compounds so between these two hno3 and uh, tri n butyl phosphate this should be obviously more non polar because of butyl chains this should be non polar right so this should be more soluble in non polar compounds or uh, and uh, it should be less soluble in polar compounds like hno3 so this is least soluble in hno3 and more soluble in uh, tri n butyl phosphate obviously this should have more solubility and if if this has uh, uh, more solubility obviously it should have highest partition coefficient right so you can go with the corresponding option answer for this question it is lutetium 3 okay uh, coming to the next question so it's Comparison of valence electronic configuration of the elements samarium and europium suggests that 
four statements they have given and uh, this is in connection with the uh, redox behavior of uh, samarium as well as europium very important thing here is that they have asked you to compare the valence electronic configuration of these elements so in valence configuration whether they can act as oxidizing agent or reducing agent the question is in connection with that okay for that say first we shall write the valence electronic configuration of samarium and europium so these are the valence electronic configurations of samarium and europium now let us come to the statement so if you read all these statements uh, definitely uh, option c and option d you will be able to eliminate because what option c says is that facile oxidation state is plus 2 for both the elements right but this fact uh, we know and uh, even in previous questions it has come that samarium it has plus 2 oxidation state it is not facile oxidation state for samarium whereas it is facile oxidation state for europium so definitely facile oxidation state it is not uh, plus 2 for both the cases so option c it is not the answer this can be readily eliminated so next thing both of them it says that both of them uh, they display similar redox behavior no because one has preference towards plus 3 oxidation state and uh, even we know this fact that europium in its 2 plus oxidation state it can act as reducing agent these facts we know right so whereas this one samarium uh, plus 3 is the is the most common oxidation state state therefore this option d uh, similar redox behavior that is also no then we are left with option a and b now we shall see option a and b see option a it says that samarium is better one electron reductant first we should understand the term reductant reductant it simply means reducing agent right so now this fact again i am uh, recalling you this fact giving a recall to this fact that if samarium it is acting as reductant or reducing agent by itself it should undergo oxidation right so therefore samarium if it is better one electron reductant this samarium it should undergo oxidation so if it undergoes one electron oxidation samarium it will move from samarium to samarium plus one state which means one electron it should be removed from 6s1 but we don't have plus one stable oxidation state for samarium so this statement it seems a bit uh, uh, it, uh, you can say that this is not uh, that healthy statement now come to this option b samarium is better one electron oxidant than europium again here oxidant it means it is oxidizing agent so if it is oxidizing agent by itself it should undergo reduction right so if you want to get the idea about uh, oxidizing agent and reducing agent i have one particular video uh, dedicated to that itself uh, so again and again i'm reminding that video uh, to you uh, i think it's coordination compounds as redox reagents you can just search for that video there are basic aspects of oxidation and reduction it has been discussed now again uh, coming back to the point if it is oxidizing agent by itself it should undergo reduction one electron reduction here you consider samarium if it undergoes one electron reduction right so that one electron it can come to this 4f subshell if it comes to 4f subshell this will become 4f7 by reducing this uh, samarium by one electron samarium it can be con converted to say samarium minus if it is undergoing oxidation or if it is undergoing uh, uh, say if it is acting as oxidizing agent it will undergo reduction and it will form sm minus samarium minus which is f7 system which is more stable uh, and therefore samarium definitely it can act as uh, uh, better one electron oxidant than europium europium you cannot uh, think that it will leave just one electron it will accept one electron uh, anywhere for a subshell definitely it will disturb the exchange energy which is already associated with 4f7 so if this accepts this will become 4f8 so therefore this will not have tendency to accept electron but this will have tendency therefore you are corresponding the answer for this corresponding option for this it should be option b thank you for uh, watching this video if you have liked this video or if you feel that the video is useful please give a like to this video and you can share this video to your friends um, please if you have not subscribed to my channel please you can subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this video thank you again